Hello, the first woman that we are going to learn about today is Malala Yousafzai. Some of you may have heard of her or may have already read the children's book that I have linked on the next slide. But Mahala, Malala was born in 1997 in Pakistan. So I was born in 1995. So that means that Malala is currently still alive and is two years younger than me. So she's only 23 years old. She was born in Pakistan, and in Pakistan, it wasn't really encouraged for a lot of girls to go to school. But her father encouraged her to go to school, encouraged her to get an education, and he was actually a teacher, and he ran a girls' school that Malala attended. So Malala loved going to school, and she loved learning. She had a lot of dreams of becoming a teacher or a doctor. But when she was around 10 years old, the Taliban took over her area and they made some very strict rules that said women had to stay home, they couldn't go to school, and if they were to leave their house, they were required to wear a burqa, which is a garment that covers your head and your body and your face, um, and you had to be accompanied, so you had to be with a male relative in order to leave your house. So needless to say, that meant that Malala could no longer go to school and her dad's girl's school got shut down. Eventually, the Taliban was no longer fighting with them and girls' schools were able to open up again, but still the Taliban was not a fan of Malala. They didn't like her because she was speaking up about girls' rights to go to school and to have an education, and that was not something that the Taliban stood for. So one day, she was in a bus and got really, really injured by some members of the Taliban. And she actually ended up going to the hospital and um, they weren't sure if she was going to live or die. And they thought that if she did live, that she might have some brain damage. But she actually ended up surviving and was able to go back to school only six months later. And even though she suffered this really, really hard injury and had to go to the hospital and wasn't sure if she was going to live, it didn't stop her from continuing to speak up about believing that girls had a right to have an education and a right to go to school. In fact, she ended up even winning in um, 2014 a Nobel Peace Prize, and she wrote a best-selling book called I Am Malala. So this is just a brief overview of her life. Please go and watch the video on the next slide. And you are more than welcome to go and research more about her. There is a ton of information about her. There's a documentary that is probably a little bit um, too adult for you guys to watch, but your parents may let you watch little segments of it because it's really, really cool to see her giving speeches and talking. Um, so I recommend that you research her further, but definitely look at the links following and then we'll come back together to talk about her influential quote.